Well, this is something interesting. Um, since I did the update, it is imaging. I put the bubble nebula at the beginning of that plan just to take up the time. And now look what's on the screen is this little ghost icon. I don't know what that's about. So I click on it, it says microphone permission notice. Required to record user voice commands for knowledge inquiries or device control via the voice assistant. So are they gonna start allowing us to do that with the voice? Hmm, that's something that we're gonna have to look into. That. That would be interesting to be able to control it by voice. That would be very helpful to some people. So that's something I'll look into and see if we can figure it out. So I went into the settings and I'm gonna turn on, whoops, turn on that microphone. Let me, I clicked the wrong screen. So let me get back in there. We're gonna, how come I can't do that? There we go, we'll click on that microphone and then we'll go back to the app and it's reconnecting. Huh, I guess maybe that ghost didn't go away. When I turned on that microphone, it interfered with the screen recording microphone, uh, but um, the little ghosty little icon, the ZWO icon, it is a helper. So if you have questions, need to know how to do things, you can talk to this, kind of like you talk to Siri or Alexa, mm -hmm. and it will answer questions for you. So that's kind of cute. It looks kind of like a starfish, like ZWO. I'm sure that's what the design is about. Now that I turned that on, it looks like it's a help feature that you can ask it questions and it will answer questions for you. So if you need help turning on the light pollution filter, you could ask it to do that. How do I turn on the light pollution filter? To turn on the light, on pollution, the light filter. pollution filter. And it looks like the recording, um, it kind of is choppy. So I don't know if it's because the C-Star is in use and using a lot of data but it kind of is a little bit choppy. Um, there was a period of time mine was speaking to me in Chinese and all I did is I told it English. And it, it sounds it like, changed it sounds like to English. It's kind of like Alexa <laughs> listening to every word you say. And so it's trying to help you. Um, How do I find the Horsehead Nebula? The Horsehead Nebula is a thing. It sounds like you might be referring. It seems like you might be trying to ask something. Feel free to tell me more. Whether you want to find a specific celestial object, learn about a star, or need help with the Sea Star app. I'm here to assist. So it looks like it's just our personal assistant in the Sea Star app. I thought that was kind of fun. And it's kind of cute. We'll have to play around with that and see if we, it will help us do our meet our goals. Uh, we sometimes need some help. So here we go. How do we turn on the um, denoising? Like maybe there's some bugs to be worked out on it. Um, it's really choppy on its response. And occasionally I hear what I assume is Chinese. Um, so it, it looks like they're working on this. It's maybe not fine tuned, but maybe they deployed it just so they could get some feedback. But that might be kind of fun. Uh, I'll have to um, look in here. Maybe we can see if in the settings you can turn it off. Um, I don't know. Execute, save the frames. Let's see. I don't see any way to turn it off. Um, we'll have to do some research and we'll see what that does. But that was kind of a fun little surprise. 
Um, I am imaging the bubble nebula to see if that red hue has gone away. My daughter imaged this last night for quite a while, and this image was turning purple. And so I thought maybe I would try it and see if that has been fixed before we do the plan and see how that um, failed go-to in a plan will work and how it executes until it does find what it's looking for. So um, those are some things that are up, coming up. I'm, I'll probably break the videos up into separate little snippets just so they're not so long and everybody can choose what they are uh, watching. But the little sea star assistant is kind of cute. So we'll see how that works. So this little helper, it seems like the only way to turn it on and off is go into the Sea Star app and turn on and off that microphone. Um, if you don't know how to get there, um, you just go into the settings of your phone, scroll to where it lists all of your apps, and then you can do it alphabetically here on the right hand side. Click on the S and there's the Sea Star. Click on it and that's where you can toggle that microphone on and off. That's the only way I've seen to turn on and off that little helper. Uh, once I did that, it restarts the app so that it knows your new setting. And then I can go in here and... Well, it does seem to interfere with the microphone as I'm recording the screen, as I'm trying to show you what to do. But you tap on the little VWO star and it comes front and center. And then you can ask it questions like I could tell it, ask it, uh, how do I autofocus? And then it will tell me how to do that. Um, it does not do the thing you're asking it to do. So like if I tell it, um, do an autofocus, it doesn't do that. But it will say, to do an autofocus, you go in here and you click this and you do this, but it doesn't execute whatever it is you're wanting. It's just a little dictionary basically for you and so um that i haven't seen a way to turn off the icon if you tap on the little icon it will minimize over to the left like that but it i haven't found a way to completely turn it off um i did even go into the top where you can do the full screen where it turns off those icons on the screen and it still didn't turn it off. And so I think that's maybe a little annoying or will become annoying because I, I really just don't have questions often enough that I want that thing hovering there and shimmering like that. Um, maybe there is a way to turn it off and I just haven't found it. Um, so if anybody else has found a way to turn that off, um, put it in the comments, let us know. You could ask it um, all kinds of just questions. That's where I was toggling off those icons and it really wasn't turning it off. Um, the only way I found to turn it off so that it's not trying to talk to you or trying to listen to you is to go into the apps and change that microphone to off. And so that turns it off so it's not listening to you. And then when you go back in the app, it restarts the app again. And now that little helper, ZWO helper star is, is not listening to you. Um, it might be an interesting thing. I do hope there's a way to turn it off because I think that I might find that annoying after a while because I just don't use it often enough that it would be that helpful. Anyway, what are your thoughts? This is a fun new thing that I, I didn't know was coming in the update, but here we are. Clear skies, everybody. Thanks for watching.